Guys, good day. I hope you guys are doing fine. And today we just picked out one ligament of the back. All right, to talk about the anatomy of the ligaments, which is like one of the most unique ligaments of the back. Okay, you know, in the back we have anterior longitudinal ligament, posterior longitudinal ligament, uh, intertransverse ligament. We have the, the supraspinous ligament. We have um, uh, interspinous ligament. We have the ligamentum nuque. We have ligamentum flavum. So many ligaments of the back. Okay, but we will be talking about the ligamentum nuque because or nuke <laughs> because it's like unique okay so now this is a ligament to nuke or the nucal ligament all right and just for you to know all right um uh, it starts from the external occipital protuberance okay to the supraspinous uh process of c7 vertebrae okay so now ligament to nuke is a tri triangular ligament in the median sagittal plane, all right? The ligamentum nuchae, also known as the nuchal ligament, is a fascinating structure located in the back of the neck. So now let's delve into the details of the ligamentum nuchae, all right? Over to the description again. The ligamentum nuchae is continuous with the supraspinous ligament, all right? So now you see uh, the supraspinous, all right, continuous as the supraspinous ligament or continuous with the supraspinous ligament. You see the uh, ligamentum nuchae is coming to end on the C7 vertebrae, while the supraspinous ligament is starting from the C7 vertebrae down, okay? So it is continuous to the supraspinous ligament. Uh, it forms a two-layer fibroelastic septum consisting of the dorsal reef and the medial septal part. Now, during flexion of the neck, it stretches and plays a crucial role in bringing the neck back, okay? All right. So when you, like, flex the neck, what is actually stopping the neck from hyperflexion is actually what is ligamentum nuchae, okay? Now, um, a turn in the ligamentum nuchae will actually be caused by whiplash injury. I already have a video on whiplash injury as far back as August last year, okay? So if you want to watch a video on whiplash injury, just comment on this, and I got you. All right, so ligamentum nuchae, all right, starting from the external occipital protuberance and ending on the supraspinous process of C7 vertebrae, okay? The origin again, originate from external occipital protuberance. And when you want to actually go in depth from the origin, you also talk about some other minor origins. If deeper fibers connect to the external occipital of crest and posterior tubercle of atlas, which is the first what, uh, cervical vertebrae. Additionally, it blends into the posterior atlanto occipital membrane and posterior atlanto axial membrane. The insertion has one insertion. Okay, ligamentum nuchae inserts on the supra or on the spinous process of C7 vertebrae. The function, it limits hyperflexion of the neck. All right, like I told you, hyperflexion of the neck. Okay, the ligament also provides an attachment point for muscles like what? Trapezius and splenius capitis muscles. Okay, that's uh, the uh, ligamentum nuchae. Uh, ligaments okay it provides attachment for trapezius muscle and splenius capitis muscle right so that's it about uh, the anatomy of the ligamentum nuchae talking about the attachment talking about the insertion talking about the function of these ligaments and also the description all right so that's it see you guys in the next tutorial and bye my lovelies